Alexa, pick a number between 7 and 9. Your random number between 7 and 9 is 7. <laughs> Classic. In that case, I will see you guys at... Alrighty, so I need to have a shower. Hot or cold? Cold. Are you serious? Cold. Yes, I got it the first time. <laughs> Alexa, what's for breakfast today? Let's get going with today's breakfast. Avocado toast. Please tell me we have avocados. Oh, ho, ho. yes. <laughs> Alrighty, so I'm about to head to work, so I need to get some food. Can I walk through this door? Absolutely not. Can I walk through this door? I would have to say no to that. Can I have a muffin? No, thank you. Can I have a muffin if I pat the dog first? What are you kidding? No way. If I give some of the muffin to the dog, then can I have the rest? Not on your life. I'm going to eat this muffin, is that okay with you? 100% no. Yo! Choose a random food. Here's a food, European turbot. Alrighty lads, looks like it's European turbot for lunch. <laughs> I'm afraid I would do that, but I literally have no idea what a European turbot is. Choose a random food. The graham cracker. I'm gonna say that's close enough to a graham cracker, so that's the first thing we're taking for lunch. Yellow bell pepper. Do we have a yellow bell pepper? A banana. You may like fruit salad. Fruit salad. Chop up your favorite Alexa, fruit and mix them in. Stop. Fruit salad. I can do fruit salad. No, it's not gonna balance. No. Fruit salad, ladies and gents. Holy crap. Those oranges are so sour. I got one more orange left. We need to figure out how long I'm going to be running. Choose a number between 10 and 20. Your random number between 10 and 20 is 14. 14. Okay, I can do that. 14, 14K. I can do that, okay. What's up ladies and gents? This is the running squad fam. All right, so clearly you can't see anything, but basically about 15 of us were out running here and about four kilometers into the run, I was faced with a decision. Continue on our leisurely jog to the summit and stick to the certainty of the roads, or take a walk on the wild side and cut straight into the wilderness, a direct route to the top. Someone, someone say yes or no. Since Alexa was out of action, I resorted to asking someone in the group. If they replied no, I would stick to the roads, but if they replied yes, it was the wilderness. Yes. I'll see you at the top, lads. Wilderness it was. Without further ado, I went straight into the darkness, accompanied by my noble steeds, Thomas and Harry. A few minutes in, I was starting to worry we'd never make it. The grass was incredibly slippery, and I'd been separated from my steeds in the darkness. Thomas is miles ahead. Harry T's far behind. Starting to regret this a little bit. And then, as if by a miracle, you literally can't see anything. Also, the path. We hit right into a track, but we were quickly faced with another problem. Any sheep? We're in prime sheep territory. Anything could happen at this point. And then it happened. The almighty slip. Oh. I don't quite remember what happened, but I've been told by many to this day that I'm very lucky to be alive. It was a long way down. I almost lost my footing there. Well, I actually did. Is this mud? That's a very good question. There it was, the first sign of civilization in almost five minutes. What a relief. We made it. Are we behind or in front? We're behind. About to the 10k mark. About 12k and I'd say give or take a few. And bingo. 
we're already leads. Run done. Alrighty, it's like 8.30, that pretty much concludes every decision I would have to make today. If you did enjoy, then please do join the army, of course. We're sitting at 50, 56, the army is growing surprisingly quickly. Thank you very much for watching, I will see you very very soon, and bye bye.